Nearly two dozen Kansas schools could be getting a new mascot. That's if they follow a new recommendation from the Kansas Board of Education. KSN's Alexis Padilla explains how schools with Native American mascots are feeling tonight. Alexis. Jeff, the Kansas BOE voted 7-1 to one, making the strong recommendation that all non-tribal schools remove their Native American mascots and branding within five years. Being just a recommendation, it will be up to the districts, and many simply do not know yet. It is a lot of buzz in our small community. That the Kansas BOE is warning mascots like the liberal Redskins to change. It's been brought up in the past um, and, and met with local resistance. This is a name that's been in the community for a very, very long time, um, generations. Redskins, Indians, Warriors, just some of the mascots that are being encouraged to be removed. I understand both issues. But for USD 398, the warrior mascot is a source of pride and respect. It's been a conversation already happening in Hayes. We sent out surveys to our community, uh, and uh, we we're also planning to hold a community conversation actually next Tuesday. Building a new high school, their superintendent wants to make sure the community is okay with the Indian mascot. We want to listen to people, and we want to be respectful and appropriate, and and just come to a a uh, somewhat of a consensus is that this is who we are and this and this is who we represent. For some schools, their mascots are tied to history. Satana was a Kiowa chief, and so there's lots of street names, landmarks, parks in town that bear the heritage of the Kiowa tribe. Being only a recommendation, it will be up to each district. The most important thing is communication, having the difficult conversations and understanding both points of views and and how to best approach it in our own community. Keep their mascot or change. Hayes will be having their community input meeting next Tuesday. As for Liberal, they will be bringing this up in their next VOE meeting on December 5th. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3. Alexis, thank you.